Here we go. Gonna find out who's playing what here now and see what they want to do in terms of the landing phase. So it looks like I'm gonna go over the Dare lineup first. God is gonna be on top of Enigma, something we do not see all too often, if at all. Goblin is gonna be on Shadow Shaman. Artstyle on Chaos Knight, that's pretty much as expected. Mag will be playing the Invoker, and Feed will be playing the Wisp. I believe Feed is Funic, but I'm not entirely sure. And then for Complexity, Jay will be on top of the Brewmaster, TC on Queen of Pain, Fluff and stuff on Chen, IX Mike on his Venomancer, Hannah Montana once again on his Tide Hunter, and that's a pretty cool item, but we can't check it out because Dota TV doesn't let me look at items for some reason. But we'll get into the action sooner than later as it looks like a five-man rotation from Complexity towards the bottom lane. We'll see if Dare are going to overextend a little bit and come out here. They're going to look and make sure they're not doing the level one Roche, which is always a threat when you have a Wisp on the enemy team. Or maybe they won't even peek for it. They're just going to assume they aren't. And it looks like Dara are going to come out a little bit. And this could be potentially an interesting engagement as Hannah Montana is just going to back off before running into them here. And it looks like right now at the moment, Complexity are looking to run an aggressive train lane on the top. Give Hannah Montana that safe solo. But it's not too safe when you put him up against a tri lane that includes a Rasta. So it's going to be very interesting laning phase as both tri lanes will be matched up against the solo. God will solo the top lane and then middle will be Mag versus TC. Oh no, Jo. So they're putting a tri lane for TC and this could be... <laughs> I don't even know what to make of it at this point. We're gonna have to see who's gonna get the better of their three versus one exchange and who wants to rotate first. I mean if they get a good start on TC, the supports can definitely shift back down from complexity because, of course, Queen of Pain is a hero that can solo pretty easily by herself. And we'll keep an eye on this bottom lane to start it off, but it looks like it... Oh, that's just an illusion of Chen. Stop tricking me. But we'll see how aggressive they want to be if they want to dive on this. We saw Dare versus EG earlier. Very aggressive, diving a lot. And, of course, there's nothing wrong with diving, but... When they're ending up trading two for twos or even losing some trades, it's not great. Nemo on top lane, I miss first blood. TC taking down Enigma. And like I said, this tri lane is just tremendous. And wow, God playing Enigma. Pretty rare in the first place, but he's going to have a really hard time in this matchup. And now Fluff going to come in from behind, put the stun from the centaur, a dive from TC. He's going to drop, put the shadow strike on God. God going to take a lot of damage from everything coming at him and being able to finish it off by the centaur. TC taking some tower hits, but he'll be just fine. Going to salve up when he gets an opportunity. And there it goes. And now this tower is going to take a lot of damage too. And God can't even TP back up here because they are willing to dive him the whole time. As I was talking about the threat of Dare diving on the bottom lane, Complexly taking full control of the top lane. And we'll see what they're going to do in terms of allowing Enigma to stay up here, if they're going to rotate some help up sooner than later. It looks like they're going to try and put aggression on Hanuman Town in the bottom lane. The Shackle's going to come off, but Artstyle taking a lot of damage from the tower. And the Splash, oh, they're going to be able to take down Artstyle. Hanuman Town, a huge play on the bottom lane. And Feed's going to go down now as well. Sunstar going to come down, but it will not catch Hanuman Town. A double kill for Hanuman Town on the bottom lane. Destroying the tri lane coming at him from Dare. Big plays from Tide. Wow, and Dare... Off to the worst start imaginable. They're about to lose a tower on the top lane as well. So tier 1 tower already down. They're down 4 to nothing. They're going to put a shackle on him, but they can't do it. Goblin going to take enough damage from the tower to push him back. He has no regen on him. He has one tango underway, but that's not going to save him. Hannah Montana must be on cloud 9 right now. And he's going to play it a little safe back up to the courier. Doesn't want to overextend with his great start. Meanwhile, God's still stuck on level 2. How's the middle lane going? J.O. versus um, Mag. It's going to be double damage up on Brewmaster. And Brewmaster getting all the last hits he can right now. 17 for 3 versus 7 for 1. So a winning effort in the middle lane as well. This game looking like a great start for Complexity. And just what they envisioned by picking this aggressive lineup. But Feed is making his way into the middle lane looking for something. It looks like Wex and Exhort are up on M. So it's going to be tough for them to take down J.O. At this time, it looks like Feed actually is going to transition to the top lane, try and provide some help for God, but the aggression doesn't stop as they're denying by killing all of his Eidolons, getting some experience and gold out of those. And now IX Mike going to take out their creeps too, so they can't pull the small creep camp. And everything going the way of complexity, 
three and a half minutes into the game. Meanwhile, bottom lane aggression on top of Hannah Montana, but look how low Goblin is. He may be able to take him down yet again. He's going to try and throw off the Anchor Smash, but he is not in range to kill him off. But still, Hannah Montana winning a 1v3 lane to start the game. Now TC coming in. Feed's going to take a lot of damage here. Down goes Feed. The nice test of faith to take him down and fluff himself off to a great start. They're putting a little pursuit on top of Gob, but they cannot catch up with him at the moment. Meanwhile, middle lane, J.O. 24 for 6, while Invoker is 11 for 3. So once again, a winning effort for J.O. on the middle lane as a solo brewmaster. And with that huge AoE on the clap, it doesn't make a little sense because he can put harass damage on Invoker. But usually I'd still favor Invoker in the lane. I guess without having Cold Snap, it is increasingly difficult to try and push him off since he is so tanky. Already 930 health. Already has a bottle as well. The rune's going to spawn. It will be invisibility on the bottom. But Jao looking to go towards the top lane. He knows the rune's not a top. So interesting choice to go up there. And they're going to get another kill in the top lane. Queen of Pain takes out Enigma yet again. Feed has made his way back up. And he is not safe to come up here. They might want to put aggression on him if he shows his face. It looks like Gale is up. But a TP up now from Goblin. So Goblin's going to try and rotate up and make this a more e even effort. Artstyle is going to have to solo in the bottom lane. Level 6 Tidehunter versus level 4 Chaos Knight. It's not going to be too easy. Anytime he comes in, he's going to be punished by an Anchor Smash. So got to keep that in mind. And Artstyle, even though he's on Chaos Knight, Chaos Knight not quite as innately tanky as Tidehunter is. So the trades aren't going to go in his favor this early. And any TP is in, and a Ravage can amount in a kill. So Jao now picking up his level 6 in the middle lane. Typical build you see from Brewmaster. Stats plus Clap. And Invisibility picked up from Invoker. Going to make his way to the bottom lane. So this is going to be aggression. He does have Quas up now. So he can go for a Cold Snap after he drops a Sun Strike if he wants. The order of it is going to be a little awkward. And now the Sun's going to come out from Art Style. Surely the Chaos Bolt. Or he's just going to walk in and they're going to save the Chaos Bolt. He's going to put some auto attacks here. Are they going to TP in any help? The Courier is coming over. He probably doesn't want to get too close. But the Anchor Smash is going to deal a lot of damage to Art Style. And now Killing Spree comes up for... Uh, and Queen of Pain on top lane, but Sunshine gonna come out after the Chaos Bolt, and Hannah Montana is gonna drop, so Dare able to pick up a kill on the bottom lane, while on the top lane, Feed does drop, and now Panda in ultimate form is gonna be able to take down God yet again. An awful start for God in this one, and Goblin is gonna be dived as well, and he is gonna go down for sure here. And now back to normal form, Brewmaster takes him out with an auto attack. They're gonna try and chain off damage on this tier 2 tower in the top lane, and Complexity 9 to 1, 6 minutes into the game. They're going for their second tower kill, and they're going to send Jail back to the base to heal up. And then go back middle lane to contest Invoker. They don't want to give him a free tower in exchange. But Feed keeps coming back up to the top lane. And now a really aggressive ward from Complexity. Really nice Gale from Ix Mike. And now the Centaur is going to be in there. Puts off the stun, and damage on Wisp is still ticking. Will he be able to get out alive? I'm not sure. It looks like he's going to be really close, but he will live as he eats the Tango. And now they're just going to try and put some pressure on this tower in all likelihood. TC is sitting on 2,300 gold, an absurd amount of money already up on him. And now with illusions, M is going to rotate down to the bottom lane. Hannah Montana is going to put pressure on top of God, but he's going to be in trouble here as the Chaos Bolt is going to come out right after the Malif is done. He's going to have to pop the Ravage with any hope of living, but the Cold Snap, he should just save it. Good call by Hannah Montana. He's probably dropping no matter what. Going to save the Ravage, and nothing he could do about that. But meanwhile, in the top lane, once again, Goblin will go down, and another kill for Chen and the gold on Queen of Pain just purchased something up. We'll see what she got. It's going to be an ultimate orb and they're also bringing up more wards. They're going to go for this tier 2 tower decisively now. Ward, Venomancer wards, Plague wards are level 2. So they're going to be able to pile a lot of damage to the snare comes out from the Troll Warlord but TC is not in range to put any pressure on top of feed. But this is one way to negate the pressure you receive from a Wisp is to just absolutely trounce him with your higher levels and burst damage because Wisp, of course, even though he's a strength hero, not too tanky, has zero armor as well as only around 600 health at this point. He's only level 3 to TC's level 6, Venomancer's 5 and Chen's 5. Meanwhile, on the bottom we see Dara putting aggression on the tier 1 tower. They're going to take that down and be able to back off here. So a nice tower kill for Dara. Trying to keep themselves composed under the pressure. God has had to look to other places to try and get some farm up. And perhaps he'll go to the jungle now. 
of the Radiant team and try and get some more farm. Sonic Wave gonna come out, hit Goblin and feed, and this is trouble, they both go down. Queen of Pain gets one of the kills, Chen gets the other, Artsile is TPing in, also TPing in his Invoker, and they're gonna try and pick off some heroes here as they know they're low in health and mana. I expect it's gonna go down to Sunstrike, but Jail makes his way in, doesn't have an ultimate up, but he has enough to take down Artsile, and Artsile will drop. M is gonna be in trouble here as well, he does not have any mana, cannot Ghost Walk, but it looks like he's gonna get out as Wisp makes his way in to try and save him as well, but he walks right into Hannah Montana, and Hannah Montana not going to engage on him. Hannah Montana also picked up a bottle. As his top tower is under half life. But it looks like Complexity want to back off a little bit here. Now an ultimate up for Brewmaster. If he wants to go, he could definitely take down Wisp. But decides against as Wisp pulls himself away. And if they want to push this tower, this would be a good idea. As they have Ravage up as well as the Primal Spirits. Or this Primal Split, rather. And now Venomancer, once again, can ward on this High Rock. Such an aggressive ward, but if you can maintain it, if you have this map control that I, IX, Mike, and Complexity have at this moment, it really is beneficial. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, we see M coming back, just trying to get some farm. He has 2 0 1 on kills, but only 20 for 5 on CS to Jo's 2 0 1 on kills, so matching him on the C, uh, KDA, but on CS, 56 for 7, so more than double CS of M, and that is not what you want to see against the Brewmaster in the early game phases. A hero that definitely can get out of control as Feed is going to be able to de-ward or counter-ward this top ward as well as the counter-ward up here as well. So, good play by him. Like I mentioned earlier, God is just going to try and make a living out of farming the Radiant Jungle at the moment. It is the safest place on the map for him, ironically. Now Blink Dagger is purchased up from Brewmaster. And this is going to be interesting to see how they want to engage on Hannah Montana for the Dire on the bottom lane. They have Chaos Bolt as well as Malphus Stun. Are they going to pop a black hole on him? It looks like they might have to. He's going to pop a Malphus Stun first. And he misses the Malphus Stun? I heard it go off. Yeah, he missed it. Put it on one of the creeps, perhaps. Wow. And Hannah Montana getting away a little bit lucky, but coming back in. Mag is making his way in from the top, as you can see on the mini-map, though. And this is going to be a risky decision for him, but he's going to pop the... Oh, Ravage is going to try and go for one of these kills. The Gush comes up, and he takes down Enigma. Disrespect on your whole family, but then the Chaos Bolt, he's going to die in return for it. But just making God's game that much worse at the moment. But JL's going to make his way in hasted. Going to go on top of Mag. Mag's going to be in trouble here. But he can, of course, invoke up a Ghost Walk. He has enough mana at the moment. Feed is going to try and save him. They consider turning on him. He doesn't have enough mana. Oh, no, he does. He pops off the ultimate. And now the ultimate is going to be wasted a little bit as he's going to decide to back off here. Meanwhile, the top tier 2 drops as complexity are unrelenting in this top lane. And now Voidstone also up on Queen of Pain, so a thousand gold away from finishing off a very early Sheath Stick, which is going to go a long way, of course, in negating any kind of damage coming out from Chaos Knight, as well as being able to catch Invoker in most circumstances. Excuse me. And now a little bit of a lull in the action, perhaps the time to catch my breath. Oh my, oh my. And Mag has picked up Bracers, but... Once again, his farm is not looking as good as you want an Invoker's early game farm to be. Arsal rotating towards the top lane, had to pick up two Bracers, and he has the Belt of Strength, so going towards his Power Treads, but forcing him to pick up the second set of Bracers just to be able to survive some of the encounters. And G may be in a little bit of trouble here. Chen's going to come in, put the Test of Faith on top of him, but he gets away before TC can get a Scream on top of him, so... God getting out of one right there. And now I'm going to take a little bit of harass damage as he takes a gush from Hannah Montana, but he'll be just fine. And we'll see if Complexity want to try and put some aggression on this tier 2 tower in the middle lane. Puts the nice little anchor smash on the creeps, as well as a clap from Jail. And they got to be careful of this blink dagger. Jail can initiate whenever he wants, does not have a split, but still can deal a lot of damage. And in he comes. Arcel's going to be in trouble here. The the damage from the Sun Strike is going to be mitigated by the split. Artsile is going to live, though. And Jail took a whole b lot of damage in that exchange. And now Ix Mike may be in trouble, too. He's going to actually go down 2M. Meanwhile, there's a black hole going on somewhere. There it is. It's on top of Hannah Montana, who doesn't have a Ravage up for 17 seconds. And they're going to try and catch up to him. But TC is here. Going to throw off the Sonic Wave. And Goblin is going to go down, certainly. And Hannah Montana is just going to try and make it away at this point. TC has no mana on him. Almost has enough money. Does not, cannot die here. Has enough money to purchase up a Sheep Stick. Does not want to drop. And they're toying with Dara a little bit. Dara should be... Oh, look at the low health, actually. So Dara cannot do anything else here. And there's a nice regen rune up here. And they might leave it. Oh, he has a bottle, actually. So maybe Tide will take it. 
or maybe they'll leave it for TC. Either way, it's a good decision. Maybe he'll deliver it to TC. But TC, with that sheep, going to be up in... It's actually flying out to him now. It's going to be a tremendous pickup. He is 6-0-5, so part of 11 kills already. Just the start he was looking for on top of his Queen of Pain. And he knew this is what Complexity wanted to do when they picked this aggressive lineup. Like I said, going to the last hero choice, they could have went for a hard carry. That's what a lot of teams would have done, but they picked... Oh, no! Fee going to be in trouble here. Going to drop the Meteor on top of the rest of the Complexity team. But Scream's going to come out. Mech is also up from Fluff, so it heals him off a lot. And M is in a little bit of trouble. 